We're here at the Institute of Fundraising National Convention with Gordon Mickey, Director of Development at Relationship Marketing. Gordon, you presented yesterday at the convention. Tell us more about your latest findings. Hi, Herb. It's great to speak to you. We uh, were speaking on stewardship yesterday. Uh, I think, as you know, stewardship has been a bit of a passion of mine for the last couple of years. Uh, we wrote a paper uh, in 2007 and we followed that up with some research at Survey Monkey in 2008 that has driven our thinking on what stewardship is and trying to find a, a definition of what stewardship is. So one of the things that I think lots of people are using this new buzzword. Uh, but it can pertain to legacy and trust fundraisers, it can pertain to individual giving fundraisers, so it means a bit of everything to all men uh, and all fundraisers. Uh, and so I'm trying to get organisations who are doing stewardship to come up with their own concrete definition, which could be different from someone else's definition, but as long as they use that, they all understand it. Uh, and it's also trying, I think stewardship can help break down the silo culture in organisations because uh, stewardship has to go across the whole organisation. It has to be about the way that you communicate with all your donors, uh, be they event participants or face-to-face -face, uh, donors or major givers. Uh, it is about that donor's life with the organisation from acquisition through that relationship you have with them. Uh, and I think part of stewardship also should be not only about asking for money, but just saying thank you and respect, and I think stewardship could be easily de defined as respect. Uh, it could be as simple as that. Uh, but over the course of the, the conference, we've got six different sessions on stewardship, uh, and all of them are looking at different audiences, you see. So I think we need to try and clarify what this stewardship is, have an understanding. The, the survey that we've done, there was 60% of the respondents said that they wanted a clear definition of stewardship, so I think that is pretty powerful. Uh, but we as fundraisers, I think we agree what it is, we stick with that in our organisation and we take it from there. And has the sector moved to closer to a definition or at least an understanding of, of stewardship, do you think? I don't think they have. Hmm. I, I speak to many, many organisations, we've spoken to many people at the conference this week about what stewardship is and what it means to them. Uh, there was one organisation who was in my session yesterday and his title has been re renamed to Stewardship Development Officer. So I said, what is your definition of stewardship? We're working on that. We don't really know what it is yet. And I think that is a big problem. Everybody is still working on it and figuring out what it is to their own individual organisations. Uh, and I don't think we'll ever get a, a constant definition of what it is. It's, but as long as you understand what you mean by stewardship and you act accordingly, that's fine. And tell us where we can download uh, the latest research. <laughs> the white paper that we did is available at our website, which is www.relationshipmarketing.org.uk. Uh, the can be downloaded, it's a PDF format, uh, or people can email me at gordon at relationshipmarketing.org.uk and I'd be more than happy to send that out to you. Gordon Mickey of Relationship Marketing, thank you very much. Thank you.